Hello, y'all. Today is Friday, and it's release day <laughs> for my um, business. So it is Friday the 21st of April, and I had a new release come out at 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock. <laughs> and so now it's almost 10 o'clock now. So I'm headed to the outlet because I am going out of town for a birthday party. I'm excited because I'm going to Slutty Vegans in Atlanta. Okay. I've never been and that is one of my goals. I told my... Um, one of our other best friends are riding up there with me to Atlanta and I said listen I'm going to Slutty Vegans I don't care if it's a long line or whatever I am going to Slutty Vegans I am I've been hearing so many good things about it and you know I gotta take my camera because listen I'm excited about going to Slutty Vegans um she also have another restaurant called what um co-own with someone else. I don't know who the other person is, but um, it's called Bar Vegan, I think it is. Um, but Saturday night, I am going to Slutty Vegans. So, get ready, get ready, get ready. So, right now, I'm just headed to the outlet. Um, so, I'm going, I know I'm going to the Pandora store and I'm going to Off-Broadway because uh, they always have like a whole variety of shoes there um and i need to get something to eat i don't know if i'm gonna get a smoothie or something like that a green smoothie i don't really want anything um food wise i don't really know what i want um and so i'm not even gonna bother with that i'm just probably gonna see where i can get a green smoothie or just a smoothie um i might go to clean eats and get a banana strawberry smoothie i'm not sure we'll see and so that is really my day um just been i was really busy this week and my thing was um how can i just balance everything this is something that i really really want to talk about is is there such a thing called balancing your life because Every time I feel balanced, like something always take me off um, my course. Like I can have the house clean and then one day I just be so tired. I don't want to do nothing. And I get back to where I have to start the whole process over. It's just, I think the thing is now that I want to do is I want to really declutter. And I need to because I'm tired of all this stuff in the house that really I'm not using. Why do I have it? Um, and I don't know where I want to start decluttering. I don't know if I should start in my office area. Probably need to, or I need to start in my closet, my room. I'm just, I, really I just want, to be honest with you, I really just want to throw everything away. Like, throw everything away, get rid of everything, and start from scratch. But that's not a wise thing to do. And then it's like we're always busy on the weekend and time the weekend come I'm so exhausted. Um like I am haven't had my coffee this morning. So I've just been thinking about this balanced life. Like I don't know. Because it just seemed like I always have stuff to do. And I was so busy this week. Um, and I was thinking about finding somebody to clean up. I don't know. I'm just, I just really just want to get rid of everything. That's where I am right now. Just want to get rid of everything. Um, I, I want a new bed. I want to get rid of the carpet. It's just so much stuff that I want to do. But how can I balance that and still maintain the stuff that I have to do business-wise? Um, so, 
I have found an accountant. I'm going to call her. I wanted to wait till after the tax week and call her next week just to set up an appointment with her because I know I need a tax a CPA now in business. Um so I know balancing my life I probably need to take a couple of days off and just get everything out of my house that I don't need and I was thinking about it because I think next week I'm not going to release anything and I'm going to spend um, time just getting my house. I, I think I need three, maybe three or four days and I probably would do the weekend as well so Thursday, no, I don't know maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday Sunday so I don't have to take so many days out of the weekday but I was like, I don't know if I want to do it on Sunday because Sunday sometimes is really a day that I just want to chill seriously, I just want to be in the bed and chill so I'm excited about the trip. Um, I'm driving. I I really don't like a turn and burn like you leave one day and come back the next day. But I don't have a choice because I have to work Monday and I have orders. I know that I have to, you know, get out um, this week. I didn't plan accordingly, honestly, for this weekend because I probably could have waited on my release but I didn't, I just went ahead and did it. But, you know, um, hopefully that it, I'm always nervous about my release day. And so we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, we'll see how it go. I don't know. Um, I'm always like nervous. And, and that's the main reason I really got out the house too, because I don't want to keep watching my website and see how many people are on there. Um, I want to I honestly want to get to the point where I have like two or three hundred people on at one time and I'm getting 200 orders. I can't wait to that moment um, when I have that many people at one time on my website. I'm not there yet, but you know, it will come. I'm just being patient, I'll keep going. But this work-life balance thing has really got me just thinking about a whole lot of stuff. So do y'all think, what do y'all think about the work-life balance? Is there something that's called balance in your life? When you have to do everything, you, you pick up your kids, you have to cook or go pick up something to eat for your family. Um, I know this week was going to be busy. I think I cooked, did I cook twice this week? I think I cooked twice this week and then I picked up something. Um, so, we'll see. But I just want to, you know, I'm not going to do these car vlogs really long. It's just like if I'm on my way somewhere. But I really want to know y'all opinion about this work-life balance. Um, how do you balance your, your life? I do. I make a schedule for myself. Um, I don't really talk on the phone when I'm working at all. I barely try to do that. If somebody called, yes, I put them on speaker. I'm there by myself. So I get a lot. I, I get a lot done. But the thing that be lacking is like me sometimes cleaning up. Because by the time I do my business, pick up my kids, cook sometimes... I'm exhausted like Wednesday I was really exhausted so exhausted I couldn't even sleep like go to bed at night like so I don't know I just um I really just need to take that time some days off and just to clean and get you know my house together because I do believe this like when your house is chaotic you're chaotic everything is chaotic you just you just need to declutter everything declutter your mind declutter your house declutter your car just everything that you know that kind of affects 
your mood affects the ability to do things. So, just random conversation, that's all. Just let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. Because sometimes you feel like you're stretched, you know, all over the place. And you feel like you don't have help. Because um, sometimes I do feel like that. I feel like I, especially in business, like, you can't really afford to pay somebody but you can't afford not to because you're you're busy and you can't get everything you need done. And I really believe about efficiency. And that's why I'm strongly thinking about, you know, getting a different machine and not the silhouettes because you have to feed them through. I need a machine where I can just design. It can print and cut. I don't have to stand there and feed everything in. So it's just a lot that I'm thinking about and knowing that, okay... Can I get this machine? Can I learn something else? Um, I'm just trying to make everything work out together. You know, I'm just trying to make stuff fit together. Um, and that's the thing. That's the thing that I'm trying to balance and, and do. I don't know. Really don't know. Do I want to spend all the money doing that? Do I want to? You know, it's just it's just hard decisions that you have to make. And I always want to try, you know, and make the best decision for me and my family, my business. You know, um, because really, business for me right now is a lonely road um it really is when you're starting out by yourself and you try to talk about business but then you know you don't want to constantly talk about your business and I felt that's what I will always do and everybody don't want to hear that you know and that's where it becomes a kind of like a lonely road but um but it's all good. I made it to the outlet, y'all. So, and you have to really be careful how you talk about your business to people and what you talk about your business and all of that. So, I'm here. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and go to Pandora and get some shoes. And I will talk to y'all later. So y'all wanted to come back on. I did get a pair of shoes. Um, I was there less than an hour. So that was good. So I should get home. Right at. Maybe 11 o'clock. I don't know. But anyway. Um, I did get the 50 charm from Pandora. And y'all I ended up buying a bracelet. I wanted the link bracelet i got the smaller one excuse me <coughs> that was 65 dollars. the bigger link didn't look too um it didn't look too good on me so i like the smaller link that i got and um you may show it in the video but i got a charm as well i got the question mark and explanation charm i don't know i just thought it was so cute and it's different um i wanted the stars but it was not cute um how can you go wrong with the star but it wasn't cute to me i guess because it wasn't clean or whatever i don't know but the one that caught my attention was the exclamation point and the question mark i just really like it um it just spoke to me and so that's what i got i went to a place called tropical tropical cafe You got me a green. It's called Allen. Allen something. Allen green. Green smoothie. It is so good. Um, I think that's all I'm going to eat. Because I'm going out to my son's banquet. Um, tonight. So, I got 
Pandora. This is the one that I got. It's the link. So cute. So I'm trying to get my collection back up. And I felt like I worked so hard this week and I wanted to buy me something. So I got shoes. I got my green dress. I don't know if I want to wear these black shoes now. I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I have with it. I couldn't find anything else. I wanted like a beige tone or something. But mm, my feet is so pale. I just didn't like the way they look on me. So I ended up getting the black. But anyway. I'm headed home. Clean up. So I'm gonna change my clothes and get into something comfortable. Put on some music or a TV show or something while it's playing in the background and clean up. Maybe I'll feel a little bit better or productive a little bit. So I wanted to come back on just to show y'all that I did go to Pandora. I did do it in less than an hour. I walked around. Um, and now I, I, I felt good because I was just like, you know what? Maybe if I just start walking in the morning like I used to do, that really was refreshing, to be honest with you. And I, I'm getting my fitness back. So I think that's maybe something I need to do. Go to the outlet and just walk, um, you know, at a good pace. Because the outlet, you know, going around there, maybe twice around there I just feel I feel good like really good and I got my smoothing and it's to the rim too look at that I think it has like banana mango something in it so I am working on becoming who I am through fitness and self-care y'all that was the name of my collection today and so um I, I do need to do a video but I noticed like when I was trying to my bracelet I was like my hands are so dry I like I don't remember putting lotion on my hands it's just awful I feel so much better than when I was driving to the outlet. Like, that walk and that breeze, y'all, it felt so good out. That breeze, the sun, all of that. It felt good. The sun is just hitting in the right places. It just, and the sky is so beautiful. Can't beat today. I said today I woke up this morning a brand new day brand new outlook brand new goals i am ready to take charge and i just want to definitely clean up so i can have that done um i gotta see what i'm gonna have for madison and my husband to eat because yesterday last night i didn't cook for myself because of the fact that I was going to Madison's, um, oh, let's talk about that. I went to my daughter's last performance at her school, and she, oh my God, did so good. It was hard for me to take, y'all, because I was, like, trying to focus on her dancing, and I was just like, I gave it up. I was like, I'm not, I, I really wanted to capture that moment of her last dance, but I was just so wrapped up in. The area that I was sitting, I thought it was just too far. I wish I would have just took my um, Canon um, GX7, whatever that camera is. 
um, with me. And so I'm taking that camera with me to Atlanta that I wish I would have took it last night. Got to make sure my batteries are, um, my batteries are charged. Hope that y'all have an amazing day. And I will talk to y'all later. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. And I will see y'all on my next video. My next outing. Let's see what that will be. Walking? Yes. This lady always walk. I need to walk with her. <laughs> she always walk with her, her baby. But, um, I'm home. And I got here at 11 o'clock. Y'all remember what time I left? Told y'all I get 11 o'clock on the dot. Bye, y'all. <laughs>